Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share 17 fast facts about the dark sun setting that every new player should know before their first combat on Athos. Hey, that makes 18 fast facts. The world that the Dark Sun game is set on is called Athos, and its people are Athasians. This video is intended to quickly give you a little bit of base knowledge about the setting. When you are ready to start thinking about character options, I have another longer video that will introduce you to the various playable classes and races of the traditional Dark Sun game. I'll leave a link to that one in the video description and at the end of this video. Now I'd like to take a few seconds to talk about how you can help this channel and Dark House Rules Games, my design studio, provide you with high quality game products and informational videos more often. To skip this part and get straight to the video, just click on the chapter title reference in the video description. First, I would like to thank everyone for their support so far. Even video likes and comments are a big help. Right now, my efforts with this channel and Dark House Rules Games are relegated to my free time so my release schedule is slow at the moment. Outside of the videos you see here, I'm also writing and illustrating the city-state of Bailey and putting out the Champion of the Month, drawing new art, making new game tokens, and writing ready-to-use character sheets for each of the Champions of Rajat who were active during the Decade of Heroes. One of the easiest ways you can support these products is also free. You can sign up for the Dark House Rules Games newsletter. See link in the video description. From that, you will receive free game accessories and news about what I'm working on. If you want to make a big difference in my release schedule and the quality of the products I produce, you can directly support my work by subscribing to either my Patreon or Subscribestar pages. For less than 33 cents a day, you can not only help ensure more great products, but you will get access to scores of gaming accessories with more being added monthly. Everything from game art to new magic items, NPCs, monsters, and battle maps. The links to my newsletter, Subscribestar, and Patreon pages can be found in the video description below. Thank you very much for your support. I look forward to making great game products for you. Now back to the video. Okay, let's get back to what you came for. Fact number two. The world of Athos is mostly harsh, dry desert. There are a couple of patches of jungle and a small lake or two, but for the most part it's made up of coarse sand, scalding rocks, salt flats, and rough scrub plains. Fact number three. Because of this, most of the people on Athos live in city-states. These population centers are each thousands of years old, crowded, and only survive because of having a reliable water source. Fact number four. The city-states are each ruled by a tyrannical sorcerer king or queen. These rulers are thought to be immortal and rule through cruelty and fear. Fact number five. One example of the tyranny of the sorcerer monarchs is that literacy, with only a few exceptions, is illegal. Nobles, some merchants, and the sorcerer kings and queens administrative class, the Templars, are allowed to learn to read. More on the Templars later on in this list. Fact number six. Another example of a law you may not expect is that wizard's magic is outlawed, punishable by pain of death. Even commoners will lynch anyone they suspect of being a wizard. The current devastated state of Athos is blamed on wizards. Fact number seven. Wizard's magic is powered by life force. There is no field of magical energy for wizards to draw upon to power their spells, as there is in other worlds. There are two types of wizards, preservers and defilers. Preservers carefully draw the power they need to cast their spells, pulling from a larger area so as not to kill the plants or ruin the soil. Defilers, on the other hand, care nothing for the land around them. They draw as much power as they need from every square foot about them. Their spellcasting is marked by large circles of crumbling vegetation and sterile ash in the place of the soil. Number 8. There are no true gods in the Dark Sun setting, and at least in Tui canon, there never have been. In the past, some of the people of Athos have put their faith into false gods, and in the present, most of the sorcerer kings claim to be gods. 
To their credit, they do grant spells to their priests, the Templars. All other priests get their power either from worshipping one of the elemental or para-elemental planes, or in the case of druids, the spirit of the land they protect. Either way, their power is directly or indirectly from the inner planes. Number 9. The elemental nature of the spirituality of Athos is not conducive to the creation of orders of holy warriors. Because of this, there are no paladins native to the Dark Sun setting. Number 10. Psionics are everywhere in the Dark Sun setting. Psionics are not magic as it is understood in the AD&D 2nd edition. Unlike priests and wizards who draw their power from an external source, psionicists use the energy of their own nexus. This means they are unaffected by null magical zones, anti-magic shells, and magic resistance. Psionic powers are, with only a couple of exceptions, different from both wizards and priest spells. There are hundreds of unique psionic powers that psionicists and wild talents have to use. Number 11. The races of the Dark Sun setting are all different from those found on other worlds. For more information on the unique races and classes of Athos, use the link to the Novice Player's Guide to Dark Sun video in this video's outro. Number 12. Because Athos is so deadly, single-classed characters start play at third level instead of first. Dual-classed, demi-human player characters start play with enough experience to be second level in their most expensive class, and in all their classes. To give you a secondary character to play, if your primary one dies, there's a thing called a character tree. It allows you to share levels earned with inactive characters. Ask your DM for the details on this one. Number 13. The next few fast facts are about the world. It is alien and uncanny. Athos's bloated crimson red giant of a sun shares its olive green sky with two moons that loom large, Rawl and Guthay. Number 14. I know earlier that I said that Athos was mostly desert, but as with most everything, Dark Sun takes that to the extreme. Most places in the known world see rain no more than once or twice in a decade. Number 15. In the Dark Sun game, weapons, armor, or almost anything made of metal is very rare. Athos is very metal poor. Things normally made of steel, iron, or bronze are instead crafted from bone, wood, chitin, or stone. A steel sword on its own is a great treasure without having to be ornamented or magical. Number 16. Also because of Athos's metal poor state, metal coins are rare. The standard currency is ceramic pieces, which are minted by each city-state. Each ceramic piece is scored so it can be broken up into 10 slices called bits, the smallest form of currency. Number 17. Most standard monsters are unknown on Athos. Many died off as the climate of the world became hostile to life. Others were wiped out by genocidal wars thousands of years ago, while some just never existed on Athos at all. Number 18, last but most definitely not least, there is only one known dragon in the world. It is called THE Dragon for good reason. Even the sorcerer monarchs fear and venerate him. Okay, well I hope you now have a little better feel for what the Dark Sun setting is all about. Now you should be ready to go learn about the class and race options for your first character. Just click on this thumbnail over here to go to a video that will show you that. For more on Dark Sun in general, you can click on this playlist. If you have any questions or something that you think was left off this list, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And on your way out, leave a like on this one and subscribe. I wish you lots of smash mouth Dark Sun fun. Have a great day. See you again soon.